Hello, my friends, and welcome to episode 109 of Game Blurb Reactions, GBR, as it's better known as nowadays. All right, so following an Xbox classic game, we've got, from the follow-up console, the Xbox 360, Rockstar Game Presents, L.A. Noir. Sounds pretty dark. Some noir business. L.A. Noir. A dark and violent crime thriller set against the backdrops of 1940s Los Angeles and utilising revolutionary new facial animation technology. That's not the information I want in a blurb. I want to know about the story, please. L.A. LA Noir blends the breathtaking action of chases and shootouts with true detective work. I mean, yeah, throw those details in, but I want to know about, like, what's, what's going on? Who's being framed for what? and shootouts with true detectives, including interrogations and clue-finding, as newly minted officers Cole Phelps embarks on a desperate search for... Here we go. On a desperate search for truth in a city where everyone has something to hide. Definitely dirty cops in this one, isn't there? This came out in the year... Ooh, I can't see a year, but I'm sure it's there, like 2011? It's got this little bit here. This is a fictional story set in 1940s Los Angeles, depicting invented and fictionalised historical characters, groups, locations, scenes and events in a manner that is not historically accurate and should not be interpreted to be factual. I actually appreciate that. Thanks. L.A. Noir. Well, I like a thriller. Not so much a... Police thriller. Well, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, like a, like a, you know, psychological thriller kind of scary kind of thing. Oh, we've got a backstory. In the years after the World War Two, while many struggled to rebuild their lives in a devastated economy, Los Angeles embraced an era of unprecedented growth and prosperity, and Hollywood became a shining beacon of the American dream to the rest of the world. Fuck that shit. Yet beneath the glitz and glamour lay a darker reality. A burgeoning, a burgeoning drug trade, a movie industry relentlessly preying on naive young girls. Not much change then. Hmm. Rampant corruption at every level of police and government and thousands of demobilised troops trying to readjust to civilian life and leave the horrors of war behind them. After years of fighting in the Pacific Theatre oh of World War II, one such young man... Marine Lieutenant Cole Phelps was awarded one of the Navy's highest honours, the Silver Star, and was honourably discharged. Sounds like a true hero. Keen to continue serving his country on home soil, Cole signed up to the LAPD, a police force suffering a public relations crisis amid accusations of corruption and brutality. There you go, you dirty cops. A young decorated war hero could be just what the department needs to turn the tide of public opinion. The powers that be are watching. Yeah, it might be, but surely he's a rookie, so what you gotta do, it's gonna take him a while to to uh to change the system, and that's if the system doesn't change him. That's probably what's gonna lead him into conflict, isn't it? He's not gonna play the game like he like he's gonna be expected to, and then he's gonna run into trouble with his superiors, and then he's gonna basically take out the corruption, I'd imagine. Mm, special thanks to all those people. Oh, there's a lot on the on the credits list, license and warranty. Right, made by Rockstar, the same people who made those other good games. You know the ones. Right, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and keep it real in the blurb world. Peace out. Peace.